In this Power Word video, I'm going to show you how you can go from five of the easiest powers to catch in the game to the most OP powers in this game, both for base work and combat. You'll go from what's more or less a Lambo from a level one to breeding a Shadow Beak, who is one of the best OP powers in this game. You don't even see these until literally level 40. In this video, I'll show you how you can get these really early on, as well as amazing powers like Ozark, Menesting, Lylene, Jumontide, Anubis, and many more. Let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving a couple of copies away of Power World. So to win one for yourself or a friend who doesn't have it yet, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Winners will be announced and picked from my comments section in a couple of days, so good luck. So in this guide, I'm going to showcase to you how you can go from a few easy to catch powers to some of the best powers in this game through breeding. I've tried to keep it as simple as possible and as easy as possible and all that is required on your behalf is more or less breeding facilities i.e. a breeding pen, cakes and those egg incubators. You can more or less start from this point. Okay so there are five easy to get powers which you need to get and from here we're going to breed our way up. Those powers are first up a Lambo. Now again obviously we're breeding here so if you can get a male and female of these that will be much much better. Now these Lambos can be found more or less at the very first area, they're all over the place, super low level, you shouldn't be struggling here. You then need to get yourself a Celery. These again, real easy to catch and you can find these all around that first area, but obviously mainly by lands of water. Next up guys, you want a Daydream, this is a nighttime only pal, so wait until night time and grab a couple of these, obviously male and female. Then guys, you need to get yourself a Relaxorus. These water dragon type powers can be found at the lower level areas of the map, seen right here on the screen. Now these spawn in within this location in at around a level 20, sometimes higher, sometimes lower. But if you can catch powers at this level, nothing within this video will stop you achieving those higher leveled powers, like the ones I mentioned at the start. Powers like Shadow Beak, Astrogen, Lilene and Lilene Nut. Menesting, War Sect, uh, German Tide, Ozark, Anubis, and more. Okay, so the last one we need to grab is Grizzbolt. Now, the Grizzbolt is probably the hardest thing for the lower level players to get from this video because they spawn at the bottom of the map. They're only around the level 20, which is fine. It's just getting here, you will have to swim. But besides this, if you can catch this, the Grizzbolt, you are good for the rest of this video and you will get guaranteed every one of the end game powers I've mentioned already. So the Grizz Bolts are found right here at the bottom of the map. Now again, they will be in at around a level 20. The lowest I've seen here is a level 18. Now these are obviously a rotational spawn power in this area. So if it isn't here the first time, if you run around the area a bit or even fly around the area a bit, you will notice that powers actually rotate and you can just do this guys until you find yourself that Grizz Bolt you are looking for. So once you have this guys, we are good. Now what I will say is at the time of making this video, you can still catch tower bosses. This includes Zoe and Grisbolt, who you can use for breeding. But this is a glitch and it will no doubt be patched, but I'll explain quickly how you do this anyway, just in case. So simply guys, go to any settlement where there's any friendly NPCs. Pick a fight with one so you earn that wanted status. Then from here, fast travel to Zoe and Grisbolt. Go in and start the encounter with Zoe and Grisbolt. You will notice that the NPCs have followed you in. From here, do not attack Grisbolt at all. What you want to try and do is get Grisbolt to hit the NPCs or the NPCs to hit Grisbolt. When this actually happens, Grisbolt can bog out. It happens 9 times out of 10. You know he's bogged out when he runs into the corner and just stands there. This is your chance to catch him. When this happens, guys, run up behind him, throw any sphere at his back and make sure it's at his back and you should catch him. It's as simple as that, guys. There you go. You've got yourself an easy Grisbolt. Okay, so now we have the powers which we can breed together to make your way up to some of the best powers in this game. Again, I'm talking powers like Sherman Tide, Anubis, Menesting, Warset, Lylin, Lylin Nut, Ozerk, Astagun, Shadow Beak, and more. And guys, we'll start with probably the best all round work pal in the game, and that is Anubis. Now, this dude has hundreds of combinations in regards to his parents, but without doubt, in my opinion, the easiest to actually get this dude early is Relaxorus and the Celery. I suggested you get in at the start of the video. These two guarantee an Anubis. 
But yes, like I said, many combinations draw this power as an outcome. But he's 100%, in my opinion, a must-have power world power. Plus the fact is the only power in this game which has a level 4 in that handiwork, which means crafting with this guy around reduces it to a point of it never being an issue again. So breed these two together, guys, and get yourself a Nubis. Okay, so now we have Anubis, we need to breed him with Grisbolt, as we need the Ragnarok. And this, for this video guide, is the best way to do so. So breed these two together and get that Ragnarok, guys. They are very important to the overall OP power tree we are building here. Okay, so next up we have a great power who offers many good work suit ability traits and a level 4 in transporting, being the best in the game, and it is Oompo Boltan. And you can now easily get this dude, who is, by the way, our very important branch was making our way up that OP power tree. But to get this fella, guys, just simply breed Anubis and Ragnarok. These two guarantee our Wimpo Bolton, who is a must for this list, guys. Okay, so next up, we need to get ourselves an Elizabeth. To do this, simply breed Relaxorus and Ragnarok. The offspring is a guaranteed Elizabeth. Also important to remember, some of these powers will be used for further breeding, so look out for the genders you need as you may need to breed them a couple of times. But yeah, Relaxorus and Ragnarok will give you the Elizabeth, a very important power here. We will now breed ourselves Ozerk, probably the best electric type power in the game who does offer that level 4 in that generating electricity. Now to get this beast simply now, breed Relaxorus and Grizzbolt. This guarantees you a baby Ozerk, so get this guy cooking people. Okay so now we're going to move on and you're going to get yourself a drum tide. Now to breed this water dragon, who is the best watering pal in the game, offering a level 4 in that watering work suitability trait, the best in the game by the way, you simply need to just breed Elizabeth, who we created earlier, and Relaxorus. This guarantees you the baby of Germantide. Pretty cool. Okay, so we're now going to go and get Warsect. This is a monster of a power you want on your side. He offers that hard armor skill, which increases your defense and just an overall beast of a power. And while thanks to this guide, you can get him super, super easy. So to get war set, you simply have to breed Germantide and Ragnarok. These two guarantee the birth of a war set egg. So do what you gotta do guys and get this power. Next up, we have another amazing high level power you get from the same setup. It is Menesting. This, as you probably know, is a great, powerful pal. One only obtainable really late in the game. So to get this dude, guys, all you gotta do is simply breed Elizabeth and Guru Two pals who guarantee you the result being a menace sting. So go get this guy. Okay, so working our way up this OP pal tree, uh, we do so next by getting ourselves a Patelia, uh, who isn't a slouch, by the way, I'm not gonna lie. Her all-round work suitability traits are amazing and with a level 3 planting added into the mix, I mean it's not one you really want to skip over. But either or, she is a pal we need to step up on to make our way up that OP pal tree. Okay, so to get a Patelia, you need to breed Elizabeth and the Daydream. This guarantees you this pal, guys, so do what you gotta do here. Okay, so right now, after all the breeding we have done and the few times I told you to get at the start, you should have a Grisbolt, Relaxorus, Ragnarok, Daydream, Lambau, Celeray, Elizabeth, Ozerk, Germantide, Warset, Menesting, Anubis, Wumpo, Bolton, and Petelia. But wait, there's more. Okay, so now we need to breed and get ourselves a Morsanda, because this power again is a branch that we need. To get this Masanda, you need to now breed the Wumpo Bolton and Ragnarok. These two will guarantee you that Masanda, who which I will say isn't a hard catch, but now you have the ability to create your own, you may as well. Okay, so we just got ourselves a Masanda, and before that we got the Patelia. So now we breed these two together to get yourselves the Lylin, who is the best pal in this game in regards to planting, as she offers a level 4. But she's also, guys, the best power in this game in regards to healing you with her partner's skill. There's no real other way to heal yourselves in this game, guys, besides those powers. 
and with her being the best part to do this in the game, she's a must for both your work pace as well as your party. So do what you gotta do, breed Masanda and Patelia together and get yourself this amazing pal. Okay, so now that we have the Lylin, you may as well get the Lylin Nut. And this is done by simply breeding Lyling and Menesting. Breed these two together, guys, and you get this guaranteed Lylin Nut, who is also a must have. Okay, so now we move on to Shadow Beak, who's without doubt one of the most OP powers in this game. I mean, if you check out anyone's top five best OP powers in Power World, most of them will have Shadow Beak in that list. Okay, so to start, we need to get ourselves Kitson, which we can do by breeding Grisbolt and that Lambo I told you to catch at the start of the video. This guarantees Kitson, who actually when ridden means you won't fall victim to the heat and cold. Pretty cool. Okay, so the next step in getting Shadow Beak is also getting another amazing pal who goes by the name of Astagon, who is definitely worth your time anyway, people. Like I said, it's a beast of a pal. But he also offers a level 4 in that mining too. So definitely one you want. Okay, so to get this power, guys, you simply want to breed Grizzbolt and Ozerk. Yes, breed these two together, and you will get a guaranteed Astagon. Okay, so now we are ready for Shadow Beak. And to get Shadow Beak, guys, you now simply breed together Kitson and Astagon. This will finalize the OP power tree uh, we have created today, guys, with your very own Shadow Beak. And again, this can be achieved as low as a level 20 or even under where most of these powers today ain't available until you're way past a level 40. So keep that in mind. You're getting some real, real amazing OP powers early on. Some of the best base working powers in the game real early on. So yes, guys, I really hope this helps you out. It took a lot of figuring out by myself, I won't lie to you, but I can do more videos like this if you want to see me breed up something special. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.